Welcome everybody back to another Boldcast Reaction. I'm Carson. I'm Lindsay. And this is Run With The Wind episodes 13 and 14. Mm -hmm. What happened last time? I don't even... Summer prank. They pranked that they got eaten by bears. Right, yes, they're they on their little... Uh, they were running on that path against the other team mm -hmm. who was like blocking them and mm -hmm. shit, being shitty. So yeah, but it ended off on a cliffhanger of um, Kakaru about to punch Sasaki in the yes. face. So we'll see what happens there. Leave a like and subscribe. Check out Patreon. Let's mm -hmm. go. Jesus. I forgot it was that loud. Shit. Oh, this is the previous incident. Yeah. Oh my God. Hey, yo. Jesus. That was really intense. Power outage? Okay, a week later after the power outage incident. Oh, yeah. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> we can just go. Oh. Yeah, right. We didn't even make it to the end of the OP, did we? Kind of relatable. I had this thing when I was a kid that I would do shit like that, <laughs> but it wasn't because I was like actually good at something. It was just because I was bullied. There was this one time in grade seven, this guy had been bullying me like for my entire elementary school career. And I had been bullying other kids, so it's not, you know, it's whatever. But still this guy was picking on me pretty heavy. And then one day I just kind of snapped and then ch chased him around the classroom with a lock in a sock. I think I got the idea from like a Law and Order episode or some shit. <laughs> but uh, yeah, and then I got sent to the principal's office and they acted like I was a piece of shit for, for lashing out when I had told the teachers a million times. I, d I had told the teachers like at the start of the year, please don't put me in a class with this fucking guy because he's been fucking with me since like grade three and uh, it's been a huge problem. So don't do this, but they didn't listen. And then I was like, well, what, I was, what was I supposed to do? I went through every possible out outlet to try and like fix the situation and you did nothing. And then I took it into my own hands because I'm not a strong kid. I had to bring a weapon. <laughs> I mean, you, you could have you really hurt him. <laughs> I could have really hurt him and he would have deserved it. What I'm saying is I can relate to being a bit of a spaz like Kurahari here, even if mm. our situations are different. Yeah. Oh, they all Everyone. hold him back. That's really nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They aren't even on the team, they're on the bench. That's probably why he still feels like, salty. Yeah. Even though he's out of school and he's on like an uh, an actual team, he's not actually on the actual team. Yeah, he went to a sports school, right? Like it's like a super prestigious sports school. Same. The team. Jesus. Nobody thinks he can do it. That was a weird effect. Yeah. Shindo's picking it mm -hmm. up. I do like it though, it's cool. Yeah. 
先週の動について更新会で話してほしいとかああ練習は安心しろはい倉原が成績をかけたよ俺はお前だ慎太郎あるかなシッコー I thought this guy was just a hardcore coach, but it seems like he's getting a little bit.、Uh, he has a vested interest in them succeeding for himself. He has like a conflict well, of interest. Well, yeah, he. Well, he. It seems like he kind of got lucky by having an exceptionally gifted athlete at his school. And、so、is taking that all, all on himself、functions. of like, oh, I have trained this person. And then he's mad that everyone else isn't up to the same standard. Because then, if he doesn't have like his one good thing, then he's not going to look like a good coach. Yeah. If everyone else that he has is just like, even if they're good, like everyone at the other schools is also good. So it's it, funny also because everything he, say, he said in that conversation with those officials was like, it was, all, it was all what you would want him to say, but it was all with the air of him not actually thinking that. Like, it's they're like, Oh, we could see the efforts of your good coaching. And then he's like, Oh, I'm just blessed with good runners. What can I say? I mean,、uh, yeah, it's all them. It's all them. I oh, it's all them. You're, I'm too. You're, you're, you're、yeah. too kind. You're too kind. It's,、uh, it's, all, it's all because of them. That's、so、right. I, I, and then as, when he's behind closed doors, he's like, Oh, thanks. To, it's all thanks to you. And he's like saying it all, but it's like. You're not acting like that. Like, yeah, you're, and then you're you still go and berate the... the rest of the team and, like, try. Oh, you didn't improve? Run 10 more kilometers after you're already tired. What, what is that going to do? Nothing. That's just discouraging. Yeah. I, I don't know. I, di- I just really don't like coaches like that or any coach who's in it for themselves is kind of shitty. Yeah. Being harsh is one thing. If, like, like if you think about to make it another, I think I made a Whiplash example, but the movie Whiplash with、uh, Miles Teller and fucking JJ Jameson, whatever his actor's name is, I forget.、Um, he's, I, I'm blanking on his name, but I know his name. But、um, that's the thing where I think he does, he does have his own interest in it. He wants to, like, foster a genius of, of the craft of, like, jazz music and whatever. But he also, there is a part of him that also want, genuinely wants to bring out the best in his students.、Mm. And that's why he's so unbelievably harsh to his students and to、uh, Miles Tell- Teller's character, in particular with drumming and shit. Because he can see the talent in them. But、uh, so there's, it's more than just self interest. He, he really does, I, I think, care about bringing out the best in his students. I don't think this guy really cares. I think that the, the end goal is more to satisfy himself. Mm-hmm. And I think that's the difference. Because you can be hard on your students for the right reasons.、Uh, yeah, it's still not good, though.、Mm. Good place to practice.、Mm-hmm. Oh, they're passing him. He's、yeah. distracted. He's just thinking. Prince is going. Did you see、yeah. him? The, you see him in the back a little bit yeah, there. They're he... teasing it. He's going to explode.、Shit. What? Huh? Huh? The,、oh, okay, yeah, now、idea. this guy is a full piece of shit. He's gonna ruin this kid's life. I'll be life. cutting anyone who doesn't do well. Has an injury. Oh, he wasn't actually seeing them on the side. I think. Before, when、What? he was running on the track and he like, looked yeah, over and yeah, saw them? Yeah, I thought that he like, no, saw no, he, them today. He was today. wearing the, the shorts, the green shorts.、Mm-hmm. I thought that he was looking over and seeing the current team and then he was remembering the, his、no. team, but no. This is fucked up. This is so fucked up. So dangerous and so bad. That coach is a piece of shit. Look at Prince! I know, he's really going. <laughs> Hana. Probably some nice water after they've been running all day. Ooh! Some meat! <laughs> no! <laughs> they have to get back before she does. <laughs> 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 oh, 
that guy's cooking. <laughs> Looks so good. <laughs> His angles wrapped. He injured himself again because he was pushing himself too hard. Oh, and I think the other leg. Really? I think that was it, right? I think his other knee. Oh no, it's the no, same one. The same he one. injured himself twice. Well, he, yeah, if he's like favoring his leg and, and trying to take strain off his knee, then he probably just puts it onto his ankle by like holding his leg in a weird position. Putting, or putting too much torque in his ankle yeah. instead of like distributing. Because that's something I've noticed with longboarding. When I was really trying to get in shape and I was going from like just kind of cruising to when I wanted to like make time or like improve my mm -hmm. record or go further, then... I had to start thinking about like uh, my ankle started hurting. I was like going harder and then I'm like, ah, fuck my ankles hurting because I would like yeah. flick my toes and then I'm like, I need to, I was using, wasn't using my hip at all to push and yeah, it's, it's, it's something you've got to, so I can kind of identify with that, I guess. Yeah, this guy's a total piece of shit. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. <laughs> In front of everyone. Mm. Such a piece of shit. What if is he, this, the fucking Olympics he, in 1920? Him, if he let him heal, like, properly, he could have. then he could have yeah. been probably fine. A and If he took a week off. Two weeks off, uh, like months ago, like a month ago at this point. But now his entire leg is torn the fuck up. Yeah. Ugh. School's the worst, man. This guy should be whipped in the streets, this fucking piece of garbage. It's getting more and more distorted. Somebody st stand up for him. But he couldn't speak up. Did he punch the coach? I hope to, oh my God. The best reveal I've seen in my life. <laughs> that was fully deserved. Fucking piece of trash. I thought it was another student, it's the fucking yeah. coach. Oh my god. Wow. Oh my god. <sighs> That's insane. Then I wonder why, like, wh like, why is that other guy so mad at it? You know? I wonder. Did like their team fall apart and they they all I didn't so. get to race after that? I bet I bet that's what happened. Well, yeah, I I think it's the jealousy beforehand, and that he would throw it all away maybe, like because Sasaki is like he's not he's he's not on that level maybe, and so he feels jealous that somebody with that amount of talent would not would throw it all away. Yeah. And while he has to struggle and but he's his a whole thing is he's like, he, he's all like, oh, well, you don't even care about the people that are around you, this and that. Um, I think, I, I, but yeah, there's, there's more to his story that we don't know, mm -hmm. I think is, I agree with you. That was awesome. That was awesome. That, but it's, was, all, it's was, really sad though as well that he had to do that, like as a kid to have to deal with somebody like that. Yeah. It's fucking terrible.
And it's it's bad because yeah, it's cute. It's horrible because the coach was making him feel so guilty the entire time that he was like everyone else was getting berated on a daily basis and put down constantly by their coach. But he, and he was getting praised by his coach. But it was such like he was also excluded and alienated yeah. from the rest of his team. And he was used as like the good example to put everyone else down when that like he didn't want that. Like, he, he wasn't trying to bully the rest of the students just by being good. Mm -hmm. he, he was just doing his own thing, you know? <sighs> like compassion being punished. Like he, yeah. And not even competition, like that, here's the other thing about that coaching style, not even, like, c compassion not being rewarded is one thing in a team, but it's usually, like, the, the, the sort of psychology behind that, behind, like, not fostering, like, a brotherly bond is when you want to foster a competitive environment, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And... It doesn't seem like that was actually fostered. It was like in a way, but it was more just, it was just punishment, punishment, punishment. It, it wasn't was even like, like hard, like, you know, oh, you two, you two, you know, pitting like two, e two roughly equal people against each other and then bringing to try out. To bring out yeah, better. it wasn't even yeah. that. It's just this person's already good and you're already bad. So fuck you. That's, that's not like, it doesn't, it's not even, it's, it's not even help. strategic from like a uh, a coaching perspective. No, it's, it's just because, favoritism. Yeah, it's like, oh, this person's so good. I wish everyone was on his level. Yeah. Is continuously surprised and angered that no one is on his level when he's just like, it's not possible for them to just get on his level immediately, especially when he's not actually helping them train in any good or effective way. Because if you bring it back to the, the whiplash analogy, it's like there's the other drummers, there's the two other drummers, and he, Fletcher puts them against each other because he sees talent in one of them. He sees that like Miles Teller has like the potential to be really fucking good. And they have two other really good drummers on the, on, on the, the, the team as well, but on the band as well. But he, there's the scene where like they need to keep time or like do a thing and they're switching out constantly and they're all sweating They're there for hours the rest of the band showed up at 5 a.m But they're waiting for like five hours for everybody to, to like get warmed up and he takes the time out of everybody's day to wait and uh, he, It's like he, he, The point is he's he's pitting them against each other to bring out to bring out a competitive environment a stressful environment but a competitive environment so that something is it comes out of that. He's not putting Sasaki and Kurohara or whoever against each other. It's just like, you're bad, then, you know, yeah, it's it's fucking, I, I can't even, I, it's, it's fucking stupid. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Mmm. <laughs> I wonder if he knew before. Mm -hmm. Well, no, he wouldn't have known before he met him. <laughs> I would hope he'd be that considerate. <laughs> Ten guys all, all take a bath and then the girl has to go in. Yeah. 
don't talk too much or you'll have to <laughs> confirm that you're gay and that's mm. not, you know, careful. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that's really nice. Oh, the little steam. Oh, that's nice. You like the bug nets? Mm hmm. We made them all in breakfast. Oh, that is her dad. I think we knew that, but I'm not sure. Broke his nose. Oh. Wow. So he caused some controversy that stunted all of everyone else's growth. Sakaki, not Sasaki. だから、あんなに。涙も理由があったわけでしょ。なければならなかった。手を出すのは良くないけど。です。だから。だから。だから。これ以上。みんなに迷惑をかける前に。前に。なあ。もう走り始めてんだよ。俺ら。今更させねえぞ。Trying <笑> to get out. ま、口より先に体が動くやつなのは。うん。あんまり面倒くさって聞かれる。あの時、俺はお前の走りに問われた。<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> こんなにも重量男がいるなんて俺の知りたい答えは知っているかもしれないそうだ走るとその答えはでも答えはまだ見つかっていない走れば走るほどその難しさを痛感しているお前もそうだろ俺は一緒に走ってて楽しいよ
was such a wholesome, nice episode. Also, I'm so glad that he beat the teacher, not another student. Yeah. The way that at the start of the episode, he delivers the line. First of all, he's covering his face. Yeah. But like he, the way the, the coach delivers the line of like, Kurohara. Like it just, he sounds so pathetic, but but not like in a, in a way that he sounds younger and like weaker than he normally portrays himself. Mm -hmm. So it, it's it's a good reveal. And they you show see him the, see like him very, like you, can, you can't tell that it's him because his glasses are not on and... <laughs> Uh, like they, they his eyes his eyes are open, so it's not the same eye shape yeah. and everything. Yeah, he's drawn completely differently. Mm -hmm. Anyway, yeah, that was a great reveal. That was a great episode. Mm -hmm. I'm glad he really opened up, and I'm glad he yeah. opened up to everybody, not and just Heidi. It also it also sucks that like the other people that he was on a team with hold it against him so much. It is his fault, but at the same time, it's not his fault that the school decided to retaliate against the rest of them and not let them run. Yeah. Uh, to try to try and keep it quiet because they were embarrassed, basically. Mm -hmm. that, that's, that isn't his fault, you know? Mm -hmm. So, anyway, we'll see. Let's go to the next one. It just sucks that the school did that. It's because that, that's 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 even more scummy because then they're like enabling it and not taking ownership of it. And it's the kind of shit that schools do all the time, not just in not just in Japan. That's not a Japanese thing. That's that's shit that schools do that here. Like schools do that everywhere where they just they cover up fucking everything so easily. It's it's school's the worst, man. School should be abolished. Everything past like sixth or seventh grade should be gone. <laughs> I'm serious. Maybe, maybe maybe eighth grade. Get a little bit more math in there and then just cut it off completely. Make sure that everybody can read, write, and then do what basic do people, math. And then what do people do from then on? And then you you could choose to do go further, have, have post-secondary education from like grades 10 to 12 and then further from further on from mm -hmm. there like we normally have but it shouldn't be mandatory to go to fucking high school shouldn't be mandatory it's so stupid man it's actually so dumb but People what are you go gonna to do with all work. these kids that can't drive Te the teach them how to drive you we want, don't there's we don't learn how to drive in high school driving no no you just you don't you don't no, you don't want to. Gr well, first of all, in Alberta, you can learn how to drive when you're 14, so that's in grade nine, and uh, that's fine. Um, people on people who work on farms learn how to drive when they're like 10 years old. Yeah, I'm. Ju I'm just saying, like. My point is, so you're so it's a daycare, right? So there's just nothing else to do. So we waste everybody's time, and then people get pent up frustrations like this, and then. Just ruin every like. It's, there's no point. It's a fucking rat race. It's useless. It's pointless. You don't learn anything. It's just a daycare for a bunch of teenagers that don't have anything better to do. It's so bad. I could go. I could go on. I could go on for the next two hours on on why. Oh man, let's just watch the fucking anime. <laughs> <laughs> I could I could go on and on about this shit, dude. Is this like previous? Holy shit. That'd be so stressful. I feel terrified after watching that. Oh, there's <laughs> Who's he talking to? <laughs> 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 Makes him rewatch it. <laughs> Same speed. 
<laughs> yeah, like this whole dramatic thing all planned out. I mean, honestly, if I was watching that of like people getting loaded up into ambulances and shit, I'd be like... <laughs> <laughs> so far, 500 people have died during this race over the course of its history. <laughs> 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 Is that King? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> what a good boy. <laughs> That's a weird thing to say at the start of an interview. You look tan. It pans over is a black guy, is Musa. <laughs> like, it's like, yeah, uh, what the fuck? <laughs> this is just how I look. Why are you commenting on it? <laughs> Damn! It's going really good. <laughs> He's even look everybody's looking more tan. Except yeah. for Yu Yuki. Yuki. <laughs> 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 Was that like 70? I don't know. Mm -hmm. He's happy about his, his mm -hmm. weight, that's good. <laughs> He's getting really into it, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look at him go! Now just like get that arm motion like up here instead of down here. Mm -hmm. it's, I think it was like 28-16 that time. <laughs> but... <laughs> That's really far. <laughs> if you want to get back, you have to run back. <laughs> you didn't say yes. <laughs> no promises. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were gonna feed it to us, Hana. You're just splashing no, in our faces. No, because it's so hot. Hmm. That's good. Yeah. That's awesome. good. He's not pushing himself too hard. That's good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm so excited to see what strategy they use for like placing people during like certain areas. Yeah. We're just having such a good time. <laughs> it just looks so nice. Good training camp out in the wilderness.
What if this is when they see a bear? It's just so good and so wholesome. Oh shit. We're already at a track meet? Yeah, but they had their big training camp. So they're gonna do really good. Oh, they're all running again. Everybody's looking all this tan and their tone. Team. What if he just blows past his record? That'd be crazy. I bet everyone else is gonna beat their previous records. I just hope Prince can get it, man. I don't think he's, I don't know if he's gonna get it this time, but next time maybe. He's keeping up. Yeah. Oh shit, are you sure? Maybe. Nico and King, they still need to get it. Mm hmm Come on. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. Holy they shit. Did it. Holy shit, but Prince didn't get it. No. But that's okay. That's okay. Everyone else did. Come on, and look man. Look at him. He's not by himself. He's not like straggling behind every single person. That's him. You can do it. Come on, man. Oh, blocking the wind. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Yuki's just so into it now. Come on, man. Oh, he's so he's close. He's so, so close. He's really close. <sighs> I'm getting stressed out. He's running out of chances, but he's like almost there. He has two more chances. Oh no, he has one. It's the last one. One more meet. He's so this close. Is he, it. Can, he can do it. He can do it. I believe in him. He's going out to train. You shouldn't wear your jeans. <laughs> <laughs> Hen hentai? You can call him a freak. <laughs> he said hentai. Though, that means like, I mean, it means freak, but like, in a different way. <laughs> Are you trying to tell me? <laughs> That I'm the only one who's noticing this? Is that a black joke on Musa? <laughs> Doesn't sitting in the water in the dark. <laughs> just me. <laughs> it just abandoned Prince. Says he'll run with him and then just hops in the bath. So <laughs> かけるはいつも戦闘を走っているけど最近素敵な発見があったんです発見何ですかうーんどうしましょうですねわかって何なんです
Did you take some shrooms, sir? What the fuck was he just saying? I don't understand. I don't know. I don't, I don't, I genuinely don't know what the fuck he was saying. He made a discovery? Don't you love sitting in the bath in the dark? It makes me so uneasy. I made a discovery, but I won't tell you what it is. <laughs> I don't know who that guy is. Did we see that other guy before? Yeah. He's a reporter. Mm. He really respects him, clearly. Mm -hmm. Him go, he's like in the middle, he's not even at the back anymore. Please, 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 please. Yes! <laughs> so good! Yes! <laughs> what a good set yes! of episodes! Oh my god. That was awesome. And he had time to look back. Like, he didn't even have to wonder. Yeah. He had time to look back and see that he was he was well within it. He, he was, was within it, like, still. Like, it, it wasn't, yeah. yeah. <sighs> that's so good. He and the made it, it's, dude. Oh, that's so, that's so incredible. He halved his time in like a couple months. Yeah. Like, that's crazy. And they all believed in him so much. Wow. <sighs> what a good episode. Actually, these last two episodes, they're just so good. I loved every, like I loved everything about them. I loved the reveal that it was the teacher that he punched. I loved them all like accepting that and just having a good time and hanging out and training and getting so much better and just feeling so good and become, becoming such great friends. And then everyone cheering on Prince as he finally got the time. And everyone else making their time everyone too. Everyone else made their time too, yeah. King and, and uh, Nico But were, I feel I feel like Prince are, was so, uh, like he was so far behind everyone else at the start. The fact that he was able to catch up we, like it's like he put in twice the amount of work in yeah. the same amount of time as everyone else because even though it's hard just to it can be hard just to knock off like one minute or even 30 seconds like 10 seconds it can be hard to knock off like one second mm -hmm. um but he he did you know 15 minutes yeah. basically and it was it was thanks to everybody's help too like mm -hmm. uh getting him the treadmill and and uh uh kurahara helping him and mm -hmm. um Give, helping him with his form and hygiene and everything and 
everybody, everybody pitched in and helped and and and, mm -hmm. and really, Yuki's getting really into it. Like he you is. know, researching different things and trying to trying to improve Get their edge, training yeah. and everything. It's and awesome. And Haiji Haiji is recovering faster now. Mm -hmm. Like his his muscles are and you can see that everyone's growing. taking on different pieces, like the twins were you know, using the stopwatch and marking down times and every everyone is pulling their weight and actually, you know, contributing to the team getting better. Not just their own their their own part of it. Every everyone's helping everyone else. Was Musa like was Musa was Musa admitting that he was gay? Was that was that out of the closet moment? Was that supposed to be like a subtextual like is Japanese TV and it's not fully accepted? But like this character is gay but we can't like say I'm gay. Or whatever. I, I, I honestly couldn't tell you. I didn't really get. Cause I think that he's saying that he likes him and he, oh. cause he, he was, he's been watching him from behind. Like he's, you know, cause he's, he can't see cause he was, he's in front. Mm. But I think that's what he was. I can't, I don't know. I don't know what the fuck he was talking about there. If that's not it, I don't know what he was saying. I think that that's what he was saying. Could be. I, I, I if so, don't cool. Know. If not, somebody tell us what the hell that was about. <laughs> But either way, yeah, Prince, he, OG son is killing it. It's so good. He's destroying. He's breaking through those barriers. And he, he has a lot of potential too, because he's so thin, you know? Mm. Like, I feel like if he, he, with the amount of progress that he made, he can keep, if he keeps that if going, he, keeps... he could be like one of the top, he could be up there with Haiji and, and Kurohara. Yeah, if he, if he like continues to work on his form, because yeah, with the amount of progress that he's made, if he like, he, he's been going like this. If he keeps that, like... I mean, it, it can't, you can't keep the same trajectory. No. It's diminishing returns, but like, you know, with, with the same, with the amount of proven he's made, I, I don't doubt that like, you know, he has the body type for it. He just needs to build up some muscle and <laughs> keep going. I feel like, I feel like you, I feel like by the end of the series, he could genuinely be like top three, you know? Cause right now I think Shindo is probably the, the closest. Would you say? Or Musa? No, I, it's, well, I mean, just by their times alone, it's uh, Musa, then uh, the twins, and then- Oh yeah, the twins, right, right, right. Uh, And then I think- Shindo. Shindo, and then- And then Yuki. Yeah. And then Nico, then King, then Prince. Yeah. Yeah. I think. Yeah, I think you're right. Um. Yeah, anyway, I, I, I'm excited for what's to come. This mm -hmm. is a great... And I'm really excited because they already started talking about how, like, different people are good at different things. Like, Musa is really... He really overtakes all of them in a flat stretch. Right. So if they can plan to have him on, like, the flattest part, they can make up a lot of time if they put Shindo on more vertical because that was his whole thing is that he grew up in the mountains, so mm -hmm. he's used to, like, the incline. So if, if like, just, just seeing everyone kind of, you know, C come into their own different things that they're good at. Yeah, I'm I'm really excited to see like if if they start training in you know similar environments to what they're going to be doing. Mm. If they start, pl you know, doing and maybe, practice. Maybe relay. Nico because he's taller and he has more muscle. Maybe if there's like a part of the the route that has like a lot of roots or a lot of like difficult terrain, maybe mm. he'd be better at that because of his his long legs. I'm not sure. You know, I don't know. But like, yeah, it's everybody. Can, yeah. Everybody could possibly have their own place where they could they could benefit. You know. Yeah. I wonder. God if, damn, this show's yeah. so good. I wonder if the show's, like, show's probably at least a hundred times better than school is. So. <laughs> I wonder if Hygie's gonna go first, or like I because I don't feel like he should be going on a downhill with his knee because the downhill oh, yeah. is is so much more s strain. Yeah. So I'm inter I'm I'm really I, I I'm really looking forward to to seeing the lineup, especially now that everyone's getting into it. If people are gonna have different ideas of yeah. like where they should go, and mm -hmm. you know if if Yuki's gonna now that he's really getting into it, gonna be like planning out the physics of everyone and where they should go just based on like you know different things about them. Mm -hmm. So well, they're gonna have to start yeah practicing like find different areas to practice with different inclines or mm -hmm. different terrain. They and the qualifier is gonna yeah. say a lot. Like they're gonna learn exactly. a lot on that based on you know where they are and if they should switch things around because one thing was a bit weaker. Or, you know what? Yeah. But now that they've all qualified to go to the qualifier. I, I, I'm just so excited. Me too. Leave a like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one, Carson. I'm Lindsay. Bye-bye.